Hi there guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at using the Fill and Stroke Editor and first of all how to use the Fill tab. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, this is going to be a rather short mini series on using the full and stroke panel, uh, which is this panel here on the right. It's maybe a two, three part video uh, mini series. So, um, yeah, we don't have that much to cover. But in any case, so today we're going to be looking at the full tab. But first of all, how to locate your full and stroke editor in case it is closed. Now, what you can do is a few ways we can go about it. First of all, you can go on your standard toolbar here. Then you navigate next to the undo and redo. There'll be a little button there called fill and stroke editor. If we click that, it will bring us uh, fill and stroke. Another way we can do this is we go to our view under our main menu on top. Then we navigate down till we find fill and stroke. And as we can see, the shortcut key for that is I. So if we press I here, we can simply hide it and bring it back. Now, obviously, the first um, uh, panel here is the full. We've got stroke and then we've got transparency. So now when we're on the full um, and stroke editor, if we've got nothing selected, we'll be changing the defaults here at the bottom for new shapes. So we need to change the color, so forth. But if you have an object selected, then all these um, params will be affecting this object. So just keep in mind with nothing selected, you'll be seeing the defaults, how it will behave when you make a new object. And if you have something selected, how that object is um, affected. Now from its options, the first option we have here is the fill type. So in Flexi Starter, we only have no fill and solid. Keep something in mind, if you don't have a, a stroke enabled, then if we go no fill, you in essence will be having a transparent shape, which uh, can become a bit of a mess when you find one of cuts or so forth, because it's still reading it as a shape. It's just you don't see it. So unless you click on the close to the edge, it will not be selected. Obviously, if we have something on like a full, I mean, sorry, a stroke, it's up the scale here, then the transparent um, full doesn't really, uh, it's not that notable. Let's just hide that again. So now, so that is the first option we have here. We've got the full. Then next up, we've got the color. As you can see, it actually tells you the name up top here. And if we click this little arrow, it will show us all the um, colors currently um, active. So we've got two switch tables open and uh, it's got all those colors located here. So you can now choose from them and see their names. Then uh, before we get to wireframe, let's say you want to have a custom color, then you can always click here on advance then like you can uh, as you can see here it opens our color specs which is that little magnifying glass with the um, paint drop and now you can make more advanced changes to colors which is um, a rather handy little tool then what you can also do you can go wireframe and then you can kind of see your shape in a wireframe mode so this is sometimes nice for editing if you don't want to be too distracted by colors you can for instance just select that let me select one at a time, go wireframe, wireframe. And as you can see there, now you can nicely see, we can see the cut direction, so forth. Let's enable those two. Yeah, and then that is the, the basics on the full and stroke. It's a rather simple one. So next up, we'll be looking at the actual um, stroke itself. Otherwise, if we head here to softwaretraining.ca.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also, you can isolate your search on the top right. If you, however, do not find what you're looking for, you can always just go here and request a training video, and then we will make that video for you. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.